Okay, this is the second guitar we have for sale. This is a Grayling model. So it's got a Telecaster outline, but it's a bit thicker than a regular Telecaster, a few millimetres thicker. But it is chambered like a 335, so all the wings are chambered out and there's a solid central core in the middle. It's got a walnut back and a rippled ash top. Um, again, ash and maple are the same kind of trees. So you can definitely see the same kind of flame maple figure in there you usually see on uh, American guitars. Uh, walnut neck with an ebony fretboard. Um, ebony's not from Britain, but I just cheated and put some ebony on there. It looks really nice. Uh, Goto aged vintage tuners and this Mastery M4 bridge. Uh, CTS pots, little Tomasio switch. Um, bare knuckle Nantucket P90s. Uh, neck one is reverse wound, reverse polarity, so there's no harm in the middle position. Um, so it sounds, hopefully, like a big, sort of like a Telecaster 335 mashup thing. Okay, so let's play through these pickups. Something really simple, so you can hear each, the bridge, middle, and uh, neck. So here's the bridge uh, pickup. some kind of mild kind of distortion. Um, these pickups respond really well again to your volume control and just general dynamics. single chords if you want them to and they can sound super clean and uh, if you like as well um, if we just do a bit of I don't know um So a super versatile guitar, and again, a good sell price is going to be £2,200 with the Reunion Blues Continental Voyager gig bag, which I'll show a picture of in a sec. Um, like I said before, these guitars have been were part of the prototype range for Andersons, so they've got my handwritten Anderson serial number on the back. And uh, they have signs of being played, that's what, what I'll say, like shop soils maybe, they're not, no dings or scratches or chips in the paint, they just, they're not brand new, you know, that's the difference. So, um, yeah, my website has got some more details, written details, and the email is there, the contact page on the website, if you need to ask me any questions about the guitars, uh, greatguitars.london is the website, and there's a contact page down there, you can submit a form there, or the, the, my email address is just info at greyguitars.london. So if you want to contact me directly about anything to these guitars or orders or anything, that's the place to go for. Okay, so we've got one Emperor and maybe one more Grayling, I'll see. But for now, we have these two guitars for sale. So if you want to get one, get in quick. Okay, thanks so much.